today's video we're going to be going over the uh, top 10 killer bass lures 2020 this is my guide um what else have i got to report don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new to this and uh hit that little notification bell that way when do, we do do a new video you can uh see what's going on as for the fishing it's been uh, it's been pretty good to be honest i mean at the moment the conditions are absolutely perfect apart from there's shit tons of weed out there so every time you're reeling in you, you're getting a bit of weed but last night i had one in the pissing rain absolutely soaked i was well, I only went for an hour about 11 o'clock obviously back at work at the moment it's uh, a bit slow out there to be honest not very good taxi driver and it's dead obviously when the kids go back to school maybe it'll get better anyway let's get into the video top 10 killer bass lures 2020 right this is obviously the uh, savage gear sand eel the lemon back now this is an absolute belter of a lure as far as i'm concerned it is uh, actually what i caught my bass on last night but uh, the reason why I was using this last night, like I've said in some of the posts, is I'm fishing, I was fishing off a prom last night. I mean, I was going to go to another location, but there was just too many people down there. Do you know what I mean? There was a lot of lights on and everything. So uh, even though they weren't really where we were fishing, so I decided to go somewhere else. And where I was, was just absolutely nowhere. You know, there was no one to be seen nowhere. But the water was crystal clear, which is perfect. It's just that bloody weed was a bit of a bugger. But like I say, this was... um, I was using... We don't normally use these. We don't get the chance to use these very often around our way because of the shallow ground. But because I was fishing above, quite above the water level, I was fishing off the prom. It's not so much of a problem. It still gets caught up occasionally, but you just got to be pretty careful not to stop reeling because obviously it's going to sink when it's moving along in the tide run as you're reeling in it's going to get hooked around rocks so you, you've got to be really really careful you don't want to lose them i mean you end up with a spare bloody tail got bloody hundreds of them so you know all over the place so that's the savage gear sand deal right the next little uh lure on the block for 2020 killer bass lures is the um Zorus Ostri. Oh when I first saw this I thought Jesus what the bloody hell is that? Anyway, this is the new kid on the block. This is um oh, I love it. It's, I've, I've already caught on this one. I I that day I, I caught on the obviously it's a surface lure. Great bloody action. It's it's a per bloody brilliant lure, I'll tell you. It's got them same hooks on it, look, look got the bit missing. Anyway, I actually lost my, I've had to reorder another one. This is brand spanking new, this one. It, a bloody line got wrapped around the end of my order. I tossed it out there and it snapped off. Now, oh, another waste of a lure, Jesus. I hate it when you lose lure. It's so blimmin' annoying. But that's the uh, Ostery, well up there in my estimation. <laughs> that, that's the, uh, the RG, I think you pronounce it, A-J-I. Because there's the I who don't get it mixed up. This is the A-G. RG, AG. I think it came out with one called the um, Redneck Eye Washi, but I couldn't get that. It's bloody sold out straight away, that one. I've not been able to get it. But this is the 110 version as well. It's got it written on the top there, actually. But it's my new kid on the right. That's a, that's a blind one, tell you. I've already caught it. Well, I've been fit. Right, next on the. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's my all-time favourite, yeah, here, here she is, the uh, IMA Kimono 2 Joker. Now, Jesus, the bloody, hard to get hold of these bloody things, I tell you, it must, it says it all about the lure, it's a great lure, it's, it's what I've had my, um, my lure caught PB on, on this lure, and a sea trout, but, uh, I've got to say, I haven't caught on it this year, I've only had it a couple of times, the problem is with what, with working and lure fishing, all the good sort of um, all the good sort of scenarios for fishing don't seem to fall into the into the work schedule into my work schedule. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit annoying, and we had all that time off with the um, with the lockdown and everything, and just we just had crap conditions. It's just blowing a northeasterly, northerly all the time. There was only a few windows for for, for opportunity. Do you know what I mean? And we'd sometimes got, gone all the way down south for 
nothing there. It's just the way it goes. I haven't saying that. It wasn't like that last night. I know someone who caught 23. So uh, they're out there. The conditions are good at the moment. Probably my number one, actually. Love that lure. Love it. I'd wear it around the neck of a bloody hook if it weren't for the hooks. Right. I'm going to do two together here because because uh, it seems silly doing them separate. Right, this is the Pirate Seducer. Obviously, this is a weedless lure. Great. Caught my very, very first cast with that lure. Believe it on. Believe it or not, I did. First, first cast. Unbelievable. And twice that's uh, when twice I've caught on that lure when when everybody, no one else has been catching anything. That's that's uh, that's a good one. And the other one is the um, Albi Snack. Don't look for it with the eyes on it. I actually put them on. I've lost my um, set of eyes. I don't know what I've done with them actually. Yeah, well, I put. I just put that on. I haven't actually. I haven't actually tried it out yet. But I reckon that'll be good. You know, the um, hooks are on here are the uh, crotcha cr cr or something like that. The bloody lethal! I tell you, they are absolutely lethal. They're beveled to a point, and. Um, Jesus, what muck's going to get off of them? They're only 3 0 them hooks. I think they're perfect for these, for these actual look, these two actually. Absolutely great lures, both of them. Loads of, the, I think that actual Albi snack is much more popular than the Pirate Seducer, but to be honest. But I seem to have had more luck with that one, but when I've used it, obviously. Wheatless, brilliant, lovely. I think that's, uh, that's most of them, to be honest. Right, next on the old, uh, on the hit list, Killer Bass Lures, is the Daiwa Shoreline Shiner, as you can see. This is the, uh, this is it, this is the Shoreline Shiner. My best ever session on this lure, absolutely amazing. Couldn't do nothing wrong, I've changed a couple of them old hooks though, because they got snapped off. That was trying to do things in the dark, see, because the, 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 a couple of times the bass had taken the, the actual lure right down they were they were battering everything that night i couldn't really see what i was doing so that's either that's how they i just, i didn't notice really till i got home that they'd a couple of them had snapped off but that's the dial with shoreline shiner oh jesus another one of them lures it's just, a, just an absolute belter i lost the other one actually i had a, i had the laser sardine one the bloody I unclipped it and dropped it in the water, but as the tide took it away, I hooked it on the end. As I got it, I hooked it on the thing because it was floating off like that and blown me down. It flicked over and flicked down further. When he killed down the drain. Right, last but not least, it's the Mega Bass Zonk. Now, this is the. Uh, what is it called? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember anyway. This isn't the sinking one. This is the not in in the Ako or Nako or something, something Japanese anyway. This has got the um the adjustable bib thing. Now I see a video, the geezer actually files a bit of that off because then that, that bit actually snaps back because sometimes if that hits into a rock, it can snap off. There's a video about that though. The geese actually shows you how to do it. It files a bit off underneath and it actually snaps back behind. So it'd save you wasting. Well, I don't know how much now. I mean, I've, I've seen these on Amazon for 40 quid. That's just a, a, that's just a liberty because the reason being is because they know damn well that you can't get hold of them <laughs> for some reason. What well, in Japan, right? You'd think they'd send somebody over here and have a look at the um, lure situation because there's loads of blinding lures. I mean, some of them that even that I recommend are an absolute nightmare. Like I said, that kimono too is a nightmare to get hold of. And some of these songs are, are the same. I mean, there's a couple of places in Japan like or Singapore, East Bay Tackle that have got a lot of songs. But the funny thing is, the last time I looked, they were sold out of all the ones up or well, the ones that i've used in the past anyway the pearl zonk shinkitsu i wash it jesus you can't get that's a bloody absolute belter that is another one one of my 
top top 10 that is one of my favorites by a long way change still the hooks again like on that yeah absolute belter right next one on the surface now right this is the pachenko 2 this is the uh, i think it's the black mummy i think this version is oh look at this absolute beauty cast well great action in the water that i walk the dog bloody absolutely brilliant looks we're getting a bit rusty never mind that's the um that's the pachenko 2 this is the uh this is the Pachenko 100. This is the baby, we call it the baby Pachenko. Look at them little tiny little looks, the way they curl over like that. Amazing, because those looks are actually slightly different to these ones. That's like, got like flat. I suppose that, because it resting next to the bot, rests up against the body, I suppose. I don't know why, but that's, they're flat on that one. That's the little baby Pachenko. That's the, um, that's the 500G, look at it. Oh. You know, when it, when nothing's working, that's the little one to put on the surface. You know what I mean? When when uh, the conditions are quite hard, something you need something a little bit subtle. And that that's the one to use. That's a lovely little lure. Uh, look at it. Carves pretty well as well for a little lure. Uh, absolutely great. Right, next on the old uh, agenda is the uh, Maria Quash. Version. Now uh, I'm going to tell you the story again. You probably may have heard it before. One night when we fished down south, my mate, the bass man, and bloody fourteen bass. I haven't caught, haven't caught any, none. I'm not joking. He had a nine pounder, an eight pounder. Anyway, he caught them all on this bloody thing. It was the only lure I didn't have. I mean. Normally down there, because of the deeper water, this is quite a deep diver sea. Um, you know, we've been using zonks, but was nothing like that was working for me that night. But that Maria squash was absolutely nailed it for him. I mean, I've got it now. I haven't actually caught it. I'm going to be totally honest, but that's always, always going to go with me if it's, especially if it's deep or around our way. You, you, there's a couple of places you could get away with using it. Anyway, that's the Maria Quash. Squash. Beautiful. Right, next on the old agenda is the Tackle House Feed Shallow. Right, this is the uh, this is the 128 plus. The little black dot on the bottom of it. You can see that, can't you? That's uh, heavier, it's 21 grams. I think the other one's 18.5, the, the uh, normal one. Obviously we we use the glow belly type. This isn't a glow belly, but we, we use the white pearl glow belly at night time, which obviously we glow with our lights. I mean, I'd never, I'd always, always take this with me. See, I've replaced them hooks there. They're getting a bit shit, their old hooks. I think they're a bit, go a bit rusty a bit quick, them ones. So you've got to remember to wash them off as well. It's quite important. Anyway, that's the Tackle House Feed Shallow. Nice and simple. Oh, yeah, quickly, look. I just got this. I see a video the other week. I had to order one to try it. This is called uh, a Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. It's like a little goby thing, but I haven't actually caught it. It's the first time I tried it last night. But as I said, the, you know, previously, you know, in the beginning, that the, the conditions were pretty crap. It's getting loads of weed, so it weren't really... Didn't really give it a good, but I reckon I reckon that could be quite good at low tide. Do you know what I mean? Because it doesn't get snagged at all, really. Anyway, that's the Mega Bass. That's not in the top ten guide, though. I'm just showing you that. I saw it. Right, so that's the end of the guide. I mean, obviously you can uh, you can read, you can look on the on the website for the for the new post. That's um, well, I go through the lures. It's probably because I'm a bit brief about them lures, but um, you know, in in on the video. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is my this is that camera I told you about before. I haven't actually had a chance to use it yet because it's been pitch black. You can't see anything. But um, hopefully, if I can get to go in the bloody daytime. I mean, it's daytime now, but I've just come home from work. I've had enough today. I've been sitting around all bloody morning. But that's another uh, issue. That's a little cam park. I think it was only about 60 quid. But that's... Um, I can't wait to use it. I've got the old bloody head thing now. It goes in there and obviously you can go underwater with it. 
Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I know I mentioned that in the beginning. And um, yeah, look forward to seeing you soon.